There have been some serious enhancements when it comes to AI powered image generation, largely thanks to machine learning. One of those models includes stable diffusion, but the GUIs for the majority of those apps kind of suck. So today we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of JavaScript, namely React. What's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of Code That. In today's episode, we are going to be building not one, but two parts of an application. We will be building a full-blown stable diffusion API using fast API and a whole bunch of other amazing libraries. But we're also going to be building a full stack application using React to be able to render our images from stable diffusion. Pretty cool, right? Now this is largely in part because there is no API that is made available for the stable diffusion model, which is made available inside of Hugging Face. So we're gonna build our own. But as per usual, we've got a couple of rules when it comes to code that. First and foremost, I'm not gonna be allowed to use any pre-existing code outside of the React application shell, namely because it takes a little while to install. If I do look at any pre-existing code Stack Overflow or use GitHub Copilot, it is a one minute time penalty. Second, that brings us to the time constraint. I'm only gonna have 15 minutes to do this, but I'm allowed to pause the timer if I am testing this out. I'm gonna need every single minute I can get out of this, guys. Seriously, this is going to be and last but not least, what happens if I don't make that time limit? Well, it's going to be a $50 Amazon gift card to you guys. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, 15 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is create our API. So I've got a virtual environment set up for our Python environment. So I'm just gonna create a file called app.py and then we're gonna need to import a bunch of dependencies. We are going to need a bunch of this. So I've got an auth token for hugging face. So this is my hugging face auth token. So I'm going to be using that. So um, from auth underscore token import auth underscore token and then we're going to import some stuff from fast api to be able to leverage that so let's make that a little bit bigger so uh from fast api import fast api and then we're also going to need a response object because that's how we're going to send back our stable diffusion image all right then uh from fast api dot middleware so we need to be able to enable cause or set up cause and this is going to allow us to make a API request from our JavaScript application to our API backend. All right, cool. So then uh, we need to import torch, then from torch import autocast. So we're going to use that to send our stuff to our GPU. Then we need from diffusers, we're going to import the stable diffusion pipeline. I think it's stable diffusion pipeline. Um, there's a bunch of other ones. And then we need to import some stuff to encode our image. So from IO import bytes IO and then import base 64. So that's going to allow us to encode our image. All right, let's save that. And then we need to go and what do we need to do? Uh, app equals, <laughs> why is this so stressful? All right, so that's our app. We then need to add middleware. And we are going to add our cause middleware. So this thing over here. And then uh, allow, I think it's allow credentials equals true. We then need to allow all the different origins to be able to hit our endpoint. So this is effectively saying allow our API or allow our app to be able to call to this API. So we're going to say allow all origins, uh, allow all methods. Bump, bump and then we're gonna say uh, allow headers boom boom and then we'll jump over to the app once our api is built all right so that's our middleware we then need to import stable diffusion so let's just quickly create a framework so app.get so this is going to be our route so we're just going to have a basic endpoint which is just forward slash and then def scoring or actually we'll call it generate Oh no, one of those lights died. All right, and then that is going to take in an object called prompt and prompt is going to be the string that we pass through to actually generate our image. So we'll come back to this in a second, but we actually need to load up our stable diffusion model. So our model ID, oh Lord, this is intense comp, oh Lord, this is intense, is forward slash stable dash diffusion dash V one dash four. Beautiful. And then we need to create our pipeline. So pipeline equals stable diffusion pipeline dot from pre-trained. It's pretty similar to the stable diffusion API we built for the, the Python app, but now we're going to be doing it in React because we like JavaScript. Okay. So from pre-trained, stop talking, Nick, uh, model 
ID and then we're going to say revision equals FP16. So this is loading the, the floating point 16 version, which allows to load it into a GPU with a little bit less memory and then torch underscore D type equals torch dot let's uh, word wrap torch dot D type equals float 16 and then I think it's use auth token equals auth token so that's from up here yep place that back down okay that's good and then we want to say pipe to I don't like the word wrap pipe to uh we're going to send this let's create a new variable for device so if you've got CUDA installed we can send it to our GPU using the device all right so that is our model loaded we then need to actually go and make some generation so with autocast we're going to send it to our device oh my god type parentheses we're going to send it to our device and then we are going to what are we going to do so we're going to take our prompt so this is going to be the result what are we doing? Um, Psst, come here. Want to know a secret? Are you looking for your next dream job in data science, machine learning, deep learning, or just data in general? Well, you need to join Jobs from Nick. Each and every week, I'll send you a curated list of the best jobs in data. These are okay. jobs with great perks, great people, and great roles. Plus, you'll get access to exclusive content like AMAs, interviews, and resume reviews. So, why not join? Plus, it's completely free. Link is in the description below. What are you waiting for? All right, back to the video. So this is actually going to be our image. Um, uh, we'll call it result um, equals pipe dot dot dot. We'll then get our prompt. We then want to pass through guidance scale. We'll set that to 8.5. So this is how strict we follow the prompt. Then to extract the image, we run dot image dot image. I think dot image and zero, something like that. Yeah, because it's going to be a key. All right, I think that should be right. And then we'll, we'll test that out. So then let's just run. Um, so this should actually be image. So then what we'll do is we'll just save our image. So image.save. We'll test this out. Um, test image.png. And then we'll return just a blank response for now. Um, uh, hello out equals hello world. We're going to have to fix that later on. But um, all right, let's start up this app. So it, UV corn app. API dash dash reload. Just checking we're still on the screen. Pause. Nine minutes, 19. I reckon we can make this, guys. I reckon we can make this. We only have a little bit left to actually go and... This was intense. I need to catch my breath. <laughs> okay, I think that's looking okay. So it's starting up right now. So this looks promising. So we can go and test our API by going to this route here and opening up Swagger UI. So then we can go forward slash docs pound symbol if it starts successfully. So this should say um, app running. So we'll get some info from our server. All this code is going to be available on GitHub as well, by the way, guys. So it takes a little while to start up because it's actually loading the model. Oh no. Attribute API not found in module app. I think I've written the wrong command. App API. Oh, I've called it app uh all right let's just tweak one thing so we're gonna call this rename it to api so that should the, the file should be called api let's just and then we can run the command that command so then it's going to run which should actually switch this around so this should be api app because basically we're running this app inside of the api file so we, the command is api colon app dash dash reload okay fingers crossed this looks promising so it's loaded those files oh application startup complete that is promising we go and reload this Boom, that looks okay. So right now we're not going to be returning an image because we haven't gone and set up the response. But if we go to fast API or the Swagger UI, open this up. And if we type in a prompt over here, let me get the little zoomy thing. If I hit try it out and then I type in, um, I don't know, Elon Musk buying Twitter and firing everyone. And then hit execute. This should 
generate an image if this works. So you should see stuff happening down here. Oh, that is looking promising. So it takes a little bit of time the first time it starts up. Guys, I think we're, we're in business. Looks okay. Attribute pipeline image has no attribute image. Oh, uh, no. Is it? I, mean, I think it's images, actually. Hold up. Let's just try that again. I think this might be images, not image. Execute. All right, so we got everything up until here is working. So the fact that it came up basically means that it's not extracting that nicely. Okay, that worked. We got a 200 response back. If I open this up, take a look. That's our boy Elon trying to buy Twitter and firing everyone. Okay, so that is, so we're good. We, we are working successfully. So if we go and test it out again, um, we can write a unicorn riding a dragon through the gates of McDonald's. Irez. 4K. Neon. Cyberpunk. Execute. Boom. This works. This is looking promising. Oh, that little thing moved. That looked okay. Oh my god. <laughs> there is our image. Now let me open. That is our image generated. Okay, but we're not done yet. So we've got our API. We're looking good. We now need to finish this off so we actually return our image. Because right now we're only returning our response is giving us this out hello world. That's not going to be great for our app because it's just returning a, a random string. We actually need to go and return that image back. This is where the base 64 encoding comes back in. Okay, we're going to kick off the timer again. This is intense. Let's go. All right, cool. So the, what we now need to do is we need to encode this image. So we are going to create a new buffer equals bytes, bytes IO. And then we're going to go image dot save, send it to our buffer and then go format. I think it's format equals PNG. So that is going to convert it into, uh, or it's going to save it to our buffer. And then we want to go um, image string equals base. 64.b64 encode encode and then we are going to send buffer.get value to that and i think that is okay and then in terms of returning our response we're going to output response and then i think it's content equals yet yeah, that image string and then format is it format or is it God, media type? That's the one. Um, image or slash PNG. I think that leaves good. Let's pause, let's pause. All right, let's start this up again. So that, oh, it's already running. That's reloading. Let's wait for it to finish reloading. We are going to need all the time to get this done. Eight minutes, eight minutes to build a React gap app, guys. Lord have mercy. This is going to be interesting. Okay, that is reloading right now. This looks promising. Famous last words, right? <laughs> oh, this is intense. Okay, so that looks okay. And so it is returning a response. Oh, we haven't tested it out. Let's go and test this out now. So if we go and what's our new prompt? A um, Spartan guard going for a job interview at um, Google wearing armor 4k high res neon cyberpunk there's a theme happening here so if i execute this we should get a little broken image so that for whatever reason swagger ui doesn't actually return the images i think there's a problem with the actual ui for swagger ui 
but if we get an image back then we should be good all right we've got that response body so that is looking good right so it's basically saying we're returning our image.png we're returning our image we are looking good guys so if we go and take a look at the image that's been generated by our api well that's our app we'll come back to that in a sec take a look that's our spartan guide i don't know what's happening with the green but anyway that is working so we are successfully returning our response back from our api so we are going to leave that and we are going to then go and build our app so this is looking great we've got an app running this looks like it's all working fine and because we've set up the cause middleware we should be able to call this from just about wherever we want if we deployed this we'll be able to call it okay we are now going to jump into our app. So this is just a React, create React app shell. So we're then going to create a complete app from scratch. And we're going to use something called Chakra UI, which just gives us a nice UI. Alrighty, time is kicking back on. Let's do this. Okay, so we are going to create an app. So I'm now jumping into JavaScript. So const app equals, uh, we're then going to create a, a empty application. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. All right, and then, um, so that is the baseline app. So we're then going to return uh let's just return um i don't know hello world and then we're just gonna put this inside of h1 tags let's just make sure this is actually we'll call it well let's let's do it properly so we're gonna call it stable diffusion uh what are we doing there what have we done wrong so return this should not be uh curly braces should be regular parentheses and then we're gonna export default app so if we go and start up this app, so npm, I'm um, back blocking it. npm start, not estagat. Clear this. npm start. Pause this. It takes a little bit of time to start up, so let's just let this start up. Okay, that looks okay. So we've got a couple of warnings. That's all right. It should tell us that it's running on like port. Okay, there, it's actually gonna open up. Should just say hello world at the moment in a H1 tag. My heart is beating. I should get like a heart rate monitor and show this inside of the video. Ooh. Okay, stable diffusion. Look how great our app looks. Okay, so it looks crap right now. We're gonna make it way better. So um, let's go. Okay, so we've at least got our app running, so I'm just going to push that over to the side. We're going to come back over here, and then we are going to make this look significantly better. Let's get a rocket emoji. Rocket emoji. Add this. Boom, already looking better. Cool, we've got a rocket emoji. All right, now we're going to use something called Chakra UI, so it just makes everything look better. So, um, import. So, we want Chakra Provider. C-H-A-K-R-A Provider from chakra dash ui and then we need to can't resolve chakra ui what we are in here that should be okay is it chakra ui oh no Oh, it's ch at ch chakra UI React. Um, at chakra dash UI plus dash React. I think that should work. And then we want to bring in chakra provider over here. And we're going to wrap our entire UI inside of that. All right, let's see. Oh no, what is happening? Chakra is not defined. Get rid of that cool all right so that is looking much better so we've got stable diffusion all right so then we're going to import a bunch of stuff so we are going to import heading we're going to import container let's just grab those for now we'll also import some text so i've got a text file inside of the python application i know a little bit confusing so we're just going to wrap this inside of a container container so this is going to should center everything and let's format the document. Beautiful, so, okay, so that is looking all right. We've got stable diffusion over here. If we blow it out, it's in the center. Let's wrap this inside of a heading. All 
Beautiful. Cool. So that's the beginnings of our stable diffusion app. We then need an input. So let's grab an input input and then button from up here and we're also going to import wrap which is just going to allow us to wrap this all up together so wrap oh this is intense and then input and then we need a button and the button's going to say generate and then we can actually jet add a color theme color scheme and we're going to set that equal to yellow now for bring up our app all right that is looking okay for now so uh why are we not in line uh, then let's add a width equals 350 x how's that looking beautiful cool so we've got to generate we've got that that's looking all right how are we doing for time? four minutes oh my god we do not have enough time for this so then from react we're going to need to import uh we need to import uh axios from Axios, so that's going to allow us to make API calls. We then need to import state. Uh, so from, uh, no, import, we need use state from React. And that's going to allow us to handle our application state. So we need a way to make an API call. So we're actually going to create a function. So const generate is going to take in our prompt. It's then should return, make an API call to, uh, to our api and then it's going to return our image back oh lord okay so then we are going to say uh axios axios dot get and then we're going to go to the endpoint that our app is running at so it's going to be this so we're going to go there and then we actually we should put this inside of back ticks because we're going to actually append our prompt so it should be um do, 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 question mark prompt equals and then we'll actually pass through our prompt here and that should be okay and then we are going to make this async and we'll await the response from there const um result is going to equal that so that should be our api call fine so then we're going to we need to manage our state so we're going to hold our image inside of a state variable so we're going to say const image update image equals use state and then our image is going to be stored inside of that. So uh, update image, we're then going to say result.data. And that should actually return our image back. But then we need a way to trigger this. So we're going to trigger this on the button click. So we are going to say button on click equals E. And then uh, how are we calling this? Generate. And then we actually need to grab the value from our input. So right now we haven't set, so we need another use state variable. So let's copy that. So const prompt, and then we're gonna say update prompt. So this is gonna be our updating function. And then over here, uh, da, 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 so our value is gonna equal the prompt. And then we want to say on change. So this is going to be an on change handler. So we're effectively, every time we change our input, we're going to be updating this prompt value. So the way to do that is to go E. So on the, the event trigger, we're then going to go um, update prompt. And we're going to say E.target.value. Okay, I think that should be all right. And then over here, we're then going to pass through the prompt. I think that should work. No, we've got errors. Oh Lord, what's happening? Uh, do, 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 do. const result. What's the actual error? Unexpected token. Oh, we haven't actually passed anything in through through to our um, generate function. So hold up. Let me let's go over here. This should take in our prompt from over here. So that should be okay now. Bruh. All right. So this is looking great. Blah blah blah. Um, a spaceman. Running from an alien. So if I hit generate, is this going to trigger our API? Where's our API? Is this running? Oh, that looked like it ran. So you can see it's going a spaceman running from an alien. Perfect. So that looks like it's actually gone and grabbed the image. All right. What we then need to do is get that image and return it back. So uh, we're going to create an image object. Oh my God. I had such big plans for this i had the ability to go and create a spinner how are we doing on time oh. literally as i looked to 
Okay, so we clearly haven't made that time limit, but we didn't have too much left to do. So let's act. Let's. let's <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. So, um, if I say image source equals, and then we are going to then assign that the value that we get back from our image over here. So it's going to be, um, what is it now? So it's data colon image forward slash PNG semicolon base 64 comma and then the name of the string so we're just going to put this inside of back ticks and then we are going to add dollar sign and then pass through the image name over here and we just want to have a ternary so we're only going to return this back if we've actually got an image so um let's actually create a loading oh we'll go let's actually apply the ternary first so we'll go um image question mark so that's if we've got an image then we're going to return the image back otherwise return nothing i think that looks okay take a look so we're now returning back our alien and we can also do this um i think we can add background shadow background shadow uh how is how do you how do we uh, box shadow that's it box shadow equals lg and then we're going to add a little bit of shadow cool right so that is our image generating so we can obviously clean this up a little bit and we're also going to add a spinner because i wanted the ui to look a little bit better so let's also toggle word wrap because this is killing me okay so that is the that that's our base app working right so we we can type in stuff so uh, if i go um uh what's um a space dragon coding an AI model. If I then go and hit generate, this should trigger our API in Python. You can see that's running over there and all things holding equal. You can see stuff is happening over here. Take a look at that. Space Dragon coding an AI model. All right, but I want to clean this up a little bit and we this is kind of looking a little bit weird. So we can obviously flesh out this, this um, JavaScript application. So I've got this text inside of my python app and i'm just going to paste this in so it's literally just information text so we know that our api is working now so then let's add in a text object we've already imported it so i'm just going to throw that here text and then i'm going to paste that in so that's looking a little bit nicer so then got a little bit of information about our ui we can also make this a link so rather than having just a um like a random bit of text we can actually add in a link so we can go link cut that paste that there source equals well, actually it should be href equals z, this link over here paste that in uh, and then i'm just going to say github repo but now, if we go and take a look, you can see we've got this link that we can actually go and click. We can even add a little bit of padding towards the bottom of our text. So let's go and do that. So we can say uh, margin bottom equals, uh, I don't know, 10 pixels. All right, so we've now got a little bit of space. So that's looking much nicer, right? You can add a little bit of margin below this text box as well, or our input. Margin bottom equals... And px. No, why are we opening up Outlook? Close that bad boy. Um, did we do that right? Uh, let's add it to this wrap. There you go. All right, so we've now got a little bit of space. We've got our dragon coming out. The one thing that I did want to generate or show you how to do is to add like a skeleton. So as we're loading, we know that we're loading. We're not just waiting for that image. Because if I go and write something else, right? Um, Twitter developers building a new UI, right? So right now you don't know it's generating. So we know that our API is running in the background, right? This All this stuff is happening here we don't the user would not know which i don't personally like as your user experience so obviously in this particular case it's going and generating stuff but we want to indicate that we're actually generating stuff and we can do that really nicely using a skeleton from chakra ui so i'm going to import two additional things so i'm going to import skeleton uh actually i want skeleton circle and skeleton text skeleton 
cool and then we're just going to create another use state uh instance over here so we're going to use that react hook we're going to say we're going to determine whether or not we're loading and we're going to create an update function called update loading and so when we make our call to our api we're going to set loading equal to true so i can say update loading and set that equal to true and then after we've returned our image back we're then going to send update loading equals false so i can go update uh loading and i'm going to set that equal to false and then over down here we just need to add in a update our ternary so that we can determine when we're loading versus when we're not loading and if we are loading we're just going to show the um the skeleton back so then we are going to update this let's format this document format make it a little bit cleaner okay so then we're going to say so right now we're saying if there's an image then return the image otherwise no we're going to add in one additional part to our ternary so we're going to say if loading then we are going to return back a skeleton so i'm going to say it's going to be wrapped and then inside of that we're going to say skeleton circle and skeleton text beautiful and then so we need a colon over here so if we're loading then we're going to return the skeleton if we're not loading and we've got an image then we return the image otherwise we return null and over here we're going to be updating our loading state to true or false depending on what we or where we're at in this generation process all right let's try this out now um and uh developer attempting to code something ridiculous in 15 minutes imagine it generates me i'll be like hmm interesting all right so wait hold on the circles work but the text hasn't what's happened there skeleton text did i import that correctly yeah all right so that let's try generating all right well you can see that it's at least gone and, and generated uh or at least we had the skeleton circle but let's try that again because i would have thought the skeleton text would have popped up um uh old city by a lake uh high resolution ominous why isn't the skeleton text working weird so the the circle's working so you can see that circle loading but the skeleton text should have been do we have any errors nope i don't think so all right but you can see that is definitely generating images how cool is that that is actually sick and the cool thing is that you can obviously save these images down if you wanted to so then you've got them saved and you can do whatever you want with them weird i wonder why the skeleton text is not working I, oh wait no skeleton text oh i think this is meant to be i might have made a bit of an error there or not necessarily an error this should be stack get rid of the oh, we still need wrap we need wrap for our input and our image but if i put this inside a stack get rid of this i was testing something else out get rid of this stack let's try generating again um uh formula one driver being cheated off a title there you go we got our skeleton text all right so you can see that obviously looks much nicer now so we actually know when we're generating let's see what it generates take a look at that that's a formula one driver being cheated of a title anyway we clearly didn't make the uh time frame in this particular case but i really wanted to show you how to do this so either way i didn't make the time frame so here's the amazon gift card first one that manages to get it congratulations there's 50 bucks in your bank account to spend whatever you on whatever you want through amazon but in this particular case we're going to build our stable diffusion app as per usual all the code is going to be available on github so i will include the full react application as well so you can see that it is quite a reasonable amount of code but this does allow you to make image gen or generate images via stable diffusion via an api so uh, in a nutshell we went and built a ton of stuff but thanks again for tuning in guys hopefully you enjoyed this one i'll catch you in the next one peace thanks so much for tuning in guys hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of code that and uh we've taken a little bit further i am trying to get back into building some more stuff with javascript and extending this out to really truly full stack machine learning applications in the future. Let me know what you thought of it. Hopefully you uh, test it out. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Peace! Check out how cool this guy is. He actually allows you to generate awesome nebula lights. Take a look. Boom.